Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, tonight, by God's grace, I am just going to be playing around with words. But I pray that in those many words, you are going to hear the Lord speak to you. Now, what marketing and other people do these days katika hali ya biashara vile jinsi ambavyo watu wanafanya nyakati hizi is they can take something that's very old kwamba wanaweza chukua chochote ambacho ni kuku and not even new at all sio mpya kabisa and then package it paint it color it na waweke rangi na waweze kuitengeneza vizuri so that it looks like it's a new thing ili iweze kuonekana kama kitu kipya when all along it's the same old 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 thing. Wakati ni kitu ambacho ni imezeeka ni kitu kuku. So tonight I'm going to use a lot of this word, that word, the other word. Na kwa hivyo usiku wa leo nitatumbia neno hili neno lile. But the heart of what I'm saying to you tonight. Lakini kina cha kile ambacho ninanena leo is that your time has come. Ni kwamba wakati wako umefika. It has come to you as an individual. Imekuja kwako kama mtu binafsi. It has come to you as a family. Imekuja kwako kama jamii. It has come to you as DC Zimmerman. Imekuja kwako kama DC Zimmerman. And every other way it has come to you in this meeting tonight. Na katika njia nyingine yoyote ile imekuja kwako. The Bible says the set time to favor Zion has come Biblia inasema kwamba wakati wa kibali cha Zayuni imefika And this is your set time Na wakati ni huu The vision is for an appointed time Mauno ni ya wakati uliotengwa So it tarry wait for it Ingawa inaweza ikakawia ingoje I've come to encourage you tonight Nimekuja kuwatia moyo usiku wa leo That appointed time has come for you Kwamba huo wakati umefika In Jesus mighty name Katika jina kuu la Yesu There may be forces that may be fighting its fulfillment Huenda ikawa kuna nguvu ambayo inapigana na kutimika kwake But in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ Lakini katika jina na, la bwana wetu Yesu Kristo When the time has come the time has come Wakati ukifika umefika And in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ Na katika jina la bwana Yesu Kristo May you receive that grace in Jesus mighty name Pokea neema ile katika jina la Yesu Hallelujah Hallelujah Turn to the book of Acts please Twende katika kitabu cha Matendo Chapter 2 Matendo mlango wa pili and verse 16 just that verse hapo tu ilo andiko peke yake we are at the day of pentecost tuko katika wakati wa pentecost something dramatic has happened in the life of the church kuna jambo kuu limetendeka katika maisha ya kanisa people have spoken in tongues watu wamenena kwa lugha And then they are wondering what has happened. Na wanashangaa nini imefanyika? So Peter gets up to preach. Kwa hivyo Petero anaamka ahubiri. And this is a part of his introduction. Na hii ndio vile alivyoleta utangulizi. At the count of three, let's read together. Katika hesabu tatu tusome pamoja. 1 2 and 3. Na hivi ndivyo alivyosema nabii Yoeli. Now for the sake of our message shall we put it in King James please The IT team let me have it in King James Tuweke katika tafsiri ya mfalme Daudi There's a way it comes out Na kuna jinsi ambavyo inatokea Verse 16 aha Sari 16 Just the first four letters of that verse A maneno manne ya kwanza Together Pamoja Again Now remove the word but Ondoa neno ile and read it together again again sorry i forget that i'm with somebody here na hii ndio ile now i want you to dramatize it ningependa uifanye kama kuigiza say this is that sema hii ni ile Now in Zambia we have what is called Zambian English. Kwa hivyo katika Zambia tuko na ile Kiingereza tunaita Kiingereza ya Zambia. I am sure it must be worse here. 
na our pronunciation sometimes differs wakati mwingine kutamka kwetu ni tofauti na nyinyi so sometimes we don't say that na kwa hivyo kwa wakati hatusemi we say we say that <laughs> mm? so please say with me kwa hivyo tuseme pamoja this is that hii ni ile Hallelujah. Let us pray. Tuombe. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Hallelujah. And so Father we give you praise we give you honor. Thank. Thank you dear Father God for the prophetic moment in this time. Asante kwa sababu ya wakati wa kinabii wakati huu. And now dear Father as we proclaim this word. Na kwa hivyo Bwana tunaponena hili neno. Cause we pray in Jesus name. Kwa sababu tumeomba kwa jina la Yesu. That it shall be bread indeed. Kwamba kutakuwa kuna ukuu hapa zaidi. Yes food indeed. Na kutakuwa na hukuma hapa. Bless the proclamation of your holy word this night. Bariki kunena kwa neno lako usiku wa leo. In Jesus mighty name. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Amen. Amen. This is Hii ni ile. Now, kwa hivyo, I am going to liken this process to how radio waves are transmitted nitataka kufananisha sehemu hii na jinsi ambavyo waves za radio huwa zinaenda now you will bear with the interpreter this sermon is not it's not easy to interpret mtaniwia radhi kwa sababu somo hili sio rahisi sana kutafsiri but i know grace is sufficient lakini neema itatosha amen all around here are radio waves kila mahali hapa kuna zile waves za radio. Radio Kenya is transmitting. Kuna radio Kenya inazungumza wakati huu. Radio Zimmerman if it is there is transmitting. Kama kuna radio ya Zimmerman pia inazungumza. All over this room is full of radio waves. Kwa hivyo katika hiki chumba kimejaa waves za radio mbalimbali. But you cannot perceive them or you cannot hear them. Lakini huwezi kusipokea na huwezi kusikia until something called a receiver or a demodulator comes. Mpaka uwe na kitu ambacho ni kipokezi uweze kuwekwa. And then that receiver will begin tuning or searching for a particular frequency. Na hicho chombo cha kupokea kitaweza kuwekwa kwa tune ili uweze kupokea zile waves. Clap for the interpreter she's doing very well. <laughs> So as you are turning that knob Kwa hivyo wakati unapoendelea kupindua kile kidude you are searching for a particular frequency Unatafuta eneo fulani ya frequency Now when you hit that frequency Na utakapoipokea you unlock what is in the air Unaweza kupokea ile ambayo iko katika hewa hapa And then you will hear this is radio Nairobi transmitting from XYZ Na utaweza kusikia wakisema hii ni radio Nairobi Nairobi wanatangaza kutoka mahali fulani When those two frequencies align Wakati ambapo hizo frequency mbili zimepokezana Now in the same way Na kwa hivyo hivyo There are many prophetic utterances hanging in this room. Kuna maneno ya kinabii yote yamejaa katika chumba hiki. Some were made 30 years ago. Kuna zingine zilinenwa miaka 30 zilizopita. Others 15 years ago. Zingine miaka 15. Others maybe one week ago. Zingine wiki moja iliyopita. Others maybe one day ago. Zingine ni pengine siku moja iliyopita. All over here. Na zote ziko mahali hapa. In the atmosphere. Ziko mahali hapa angani. And some of you could have thought. Na kuna mwingine pengine angefikiria. When will this word ever be fulfilled? Kwani hili neno litaweza kutimia lini? I've waited 20 years. Nimengoja miaka 20. Months. Nimengoja miezi mitatu. Nothing seems to be working. Hakuna chochote kinachotendeka. I have come to encourage you. Nimekuja kukutia moyo. That that particular word. Kwamba hilo neno was waiting for this revival meeting. Ilikuwa inangoja kimkutano huu. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. It was waiting for this particular revival meeting. Ilikuwa inangojea 
mkutano huu wa uvuvi. And I pray in Jesus mighty name. Na ninaomba katika jina kuu la Yesu Kristo. This is going to be your portion. Kwamba hii itakuwa sehemu yako. In Jesus mighty and holy name. Kwa jina kuu na takatifu la Yesu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it works like this. Kwa hivyo inaenda hivi. Where the signal is coming from? Wakati mahali ambapo ile signal inatokea, it is given a frequency. Inapatiwa kitu ambacho kwa Kiingereza kinaitwa frequency. I told you I'm using many words all I'm saying here don't get lost your time has come. Nilisema kwamba nitatumia maneno mengi lakini usipotee wakati wako umefika. No matter umefika. what language I use here. Haijalishi ni lugha gani nitatumia hapa. Just know I am saying. Ujue kwamba ninasema your time has come. Wakati wako umefika. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so a base, a base frequency is set up here. Kuna mahali ambapo kuna frequency imewekwa. And so the wave is taken into the air. Na ile wave inapelekwa angani. And dearly beloved at the other end here. Na sehemu ingine ile sehemu ya mwisho. Another thing that corresponds to that frequency. Kuna kitu ambacho kimewekwa ambacho kitaweza kulingana na ile frequency. It's going to catch it. Itaweza kuishika. And then interpret it. Na itaitafsiri. To fulfill that base thing that was said ili iweze kutimiza kile ambacho kilinenwa help me tell your neighbor niambia jirani yako all the bishop is saying is your time has come kile ambacho askofu anasema ni kwamba wakati wako umefika now sasa for those of you who were not here when i came last time kwa wale ambao hawakuwa hapa nilipokuja wakati ule mwingine i want to tell you how come we are standing here ningependa nikuelezee ni kwa nini tumesimama hapa leo In the year 2006. Katika mwaka wa 2006. I went to the USA. Nilienda Marekani. For the Azusa Street Revival. Wali nilienda Marekani pale Azusa Street mahali ambapo kulikuwa na uvuvio. At that place I met a lady from Kenya. Nikakutana na dada kutoka Kenya. A minister of the gospel. Ni mhuduma wa neno. A former member of this church. Ambaye alikuwa mshirika wa hili kanisa by the name of Dr Grace Karyuki Alikuwa anaitwa Dr Grace Karyuki She helped me go around the states Akanisaidia niweze kupita pale Marekani You know the first day I arrived Siku ya kwanza nilipopita Those taxi drivers took advantage of me Wale ambao wanaendesha taxi walinisumbua kiasi They take you to where you are going but don't know the route they are using yet the meter is counting and counting and counting Wanakupeleka mahali unakokwenda lakini ujui wanatumia barabara gani so I met Dr. Grace Karyuki. Kwa hivyo nikakutana na Dr. Grace Karyuki. And she told me, "Eh, hey, I'm from Kenya." Na akaniambia, "Mimi nimetoka Kenya." Don't worry, I'll take you wherever you want, however you want. Usijali, nitakupeleka kokote unakotaka jinsi ambavyo unataka. And so life became easy for me. Na kwa hivyo maisha ikawa rahisi. After we were through with that conference, tulipomaliza kongamano ile, I invited her to our home in Zambia, a place called Choma. Nikamkaribisha pale Zambia kwetu. She ministered there. Akahudumu pale. After ministry, alipohudumu, she came to this church later. Akakuja kanisani hapa tena. And there was a conference at which she was speaking. Na kulikuwa na kongamano mahali ambapo alikuwa ananena. So she invited the women from our church in Choma. Akakaribisha wadada kutoka kanisani kwetu kule Choma. To come to Zimmerman. Waje Zimmerman. From Choma, Zambia. Kutoka Choma, Zambia. There were four of them that came. Walikuwa wadada wanne waliokuja they came and set foot on zimaman kenya nairobi wakaja wakakanyaga kenya zimaman kenya nairobi they brought a frequency from zambia and deposited it on these grounds wakatoa frequency kitoka zambia wakaleta mahali hapa they brought a frequency called simusa and deposited on these grounds wakaleta frequency ambayo inaitwa simusa wakaileta hapa they brought a frequency called zambia wakaleta frequency ambayo inaitwa Zambia and put it upon these grounds na wakaiweka mahali hapa that was 2007 hiyo ni mwaka wa 2007 they came back very excited wakaja kama wamefurahi sana told me bishop that church wakatuambia askofu ile kanisa wako ni watu wa utaratibu kabisa there is order there there is order kuna kuna taratibu pale they mentioned the secretary is very organized na yule ambaye ni katibu ni mtu ambaye ako na utaratibu sana not like your secretary here sio kama katibu wako hapa the said it's a great great church wakasema ile kanisa ni ni kubwa na nzuri sana that was 2007 hiyo ni mwaka wa 2007 i just thought my heart thank god and the bishop kimani at that time na nikashukuru Mungu na askofu Kimani wakati ule just picked on my wife from nowhere 
akachukua mke wangu tu akamtenga katikati ya wale wa mama and said you are going to share in this session na akamwambia ni wewe utanena my wife had never preached before in an international conference kwa <laughs> mke wangu hakuwa ameubiri katika kongamano hapo awali but she came and stood at an altar on this ground lakini akaja akasimama madhabahuni hapa and for the first time na kwa mara ya kwanza declared international grace akatangaza neema ya kimataifa follow me as she was doing this alipokuwa anafanya hivyo she left the frequency here akawacha frequency hapa for the next 5 6 7 years kwa miaka 5 ama 6 zilizofuatia i tried my best to get in touch with bishop kimani nilijaribu sana kuweza kuwasiliana na askofu kimani nothing worked lakini singeweza i'm not joking tried this way tried that way nothing worked nilijaribu kwa kila hali lakini hakuna chochote kilifanya kazi 3 years ago also miaka mitatu zilizopita i even met a bishop nikakutana na askofu in zambia kule Zambia Who told me ah Bishop Kimani is my friend Akaniambia ah Askofu Kimani ni rafiki yangu I will mention it to him Nitamtajia hili jambo He came Akaja It did not work Haikufanya kazi Last year Mwaka jana A bishop from here Askofu kutoka hapa Code Opio Alikuwa anaitwa Opio Was invited by somebody else in, in our town of Kitwe alikaribishwa na mtu mwingine katika uh, kijiji chetu cha Kitwe that particular person had no church yule ndiye aliyemwalika hakuwa na kanisa so we helped hosting dr opio kwa hivyo tukamkaribisha daktari opio and then he told me ah akaniambia ah bishop kimani i know him askofu kimani ninamjua in fact we are friends kabisa sisi ni marafiki and he told me without fail you are coming to Kenya in the next two months na akaniambia bila ya kukosa katika miaka miezi miwili zijazo utakuja Kenya to cut the long story short ili tukate ile hadithi iwe fupi within 2 3 months of that meeting katikati ya miaka miezi miwili ama miezi mitatu there was a frequency that was calling from here kulikuwa na frequency ilikuwa inaitana kutoka hapa by god's grace it pulled me na kwa neema ya Mungu ikanivuta until again i stand here this altar mpaka nikasimama katika madhabahu haya but not only that na sio tu there are frequencies for business kulikuwa na frequency ya biashara there are frequencies for ministry frequency ya huduma for bachelors there are even frequencies for marriage frequency ya ndoa If you can't find a wife here Kama huwezi kupata mke hapa Talk to me nicely after the service Niongeleshe vizuri baada ya ibada I can bring one for you from Zambia Nitakuletea moja kutoka Zambia There are frequencies for marriage Kuna uh-huh. frequency ya ndoa And that frequency that was set up 9 12 years ago Na hiyo frequency ambayo iliwekwa miaka 12 continued speaking Imeendelea kunena And today by the grace of God Na leo kwa neema ya Mungu I have come with 11 people Nimekuja na watu All the way from Mother Zambia Kutoka Zambia To come and stand at this altar here Ili wasimame katika madhabahu And fulfill prophetic utterances Waweze kutimiza Upon your life in the name of Jesus Katika maisha yako Hallelujah Hallelujah Not only are the frequencies aligning. Sio tu eti zile frequencies zinaambatana sasa. Others shall be deposited in these four days. Lakini zingine zitaweza kuwekwa ndani yetu katika hizi siku tatu. And we are taking them to Zambia. Na tunazibeba tukienda Zambia. So that whoever is here. Ili yeyote aliye hapa. Who has a portion in the land of Zambia. Ambaye ako na sehemu Zambia. Who has a farm waiting for them in Zambia. Ambaye ako na shamba inamngojea Zambia. Who has a church waiting for them in Zambia. Ambaye ako na kanisa inamngojea Zambia. Who has a husband waiting for them in Zambia. Ambaye ako na mume anamngojea Zambia. We have come in the name of the Lord Jesus. Tumekuja katika jina la Yesu. To come and provide that frequency here. Tuweke hiyo frequency. And by God's grace. Na kwa neema ya Mungu. Before very very long. Kabla ya uvuvio you shall feel a spiritual magnet utasikia ile magnet ya kiroho pulling you to zambia ikikuvuta kuja zambia wherever you are wewe ulie may you receive that grace in the name of jesus pokea hiyo neema katika jina la yesu may you receive that grace in jesus name nimesema pokea hiyo neema the lord may have spoken it to you mungu huenda ikawa alikunenea in one way or the other kwa njia moja ama nyingine and it may be that na huenda ikawa the 
fulfillment of that word is waiting for this particular moment. And I am glad to stand here so that by the time this meeting is over and the days following after when you see in your hands the thing that you thought would never happen you shall remember this day and say come on and clap for yourself in the name of Jesus apart from the pastoral staff let me request you to stand please and tell five people this is it isipokuwa wachungaji wengine tusimame usalimie watu watano ukiwaambia may that be for you in Jesus name may that be for you in Jesus name iwe hivyo kwako katika jina la Yesu may that be for you iwe hivyo kwako kwa jina la Yesu may that be for you in Jesus name na iwe hivyo kwako katika jina la Yesu glory be to Jesus utukufu kwa Yesu come on say it believingly Say it believingly. Sema ukiwa unaamini. That is your portion. Kwa sababu hiyo ni sehemu yako. That is your grace. Hiyo ni sehemu yako. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. And nothing is going to stop it. Na hakuna chochote kitakacho There is no devil that is going to stand in the way. Hakuna shetani atakayesimama juu yake. So I declare today in Jesus name. Na kwa hivyo natangaza leo kwa jina la Yesu. Every force that has been holding. Kila nguvu ambayo imekuwa ikikinia kile ambacho ni chako I have come to tell you kusema, We have come from Zambia Tumekuja kutoka Zambia In the name of the Lord Jesus Katika jina to come and put in your hands Ili tuweke mkono wako That which God spoke over your life Kile ambacho Mungu alikuwa Come on receive that grace in Jesus name Kwa neema katika jina la Yesu Hallelujah Hallelujah Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I already feel the grace and anointing here. Na hisi ile neema na upako hapa. Glory be to Jesus. Utukufu kwa Yesu. Now what happens to us? Na kile ambacho kinafanyika kwetu. Especially me. E, ka, hasa mimi. The order I become. Jinsi ambavyo ninaendelea kukua. The talk 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 talk. Ndivyo jinsi ninazungumza anazungumza anazungumza. Time finishes. Kabla wakati nakuta wakati umeisha but i've developed another gift lakini nimepokea karama ingine is that no matter where the time finishes for me kwamba haijalishi wakati utaishia wapi i will have delivered what god has for you nitakuwa nimepeana kile ambacho mungu ako kwa amepeana kwa ajili yako i can't hear you sikusiki i can't hear you siwasiki Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now I'll explain one more principle. Na ningependa kuelezea principle moja. I shall begin to apply it. Kisha tutaweza kuitendeza kazi. Now in our days, wakati nyakati zetu, before we had these complicated keyboards. Kabla tupokee keyboard kama hizi, we used to tune guitars. Tulikuwa tunaweka guitar tune using what is called the tuning fork tukitumia kitu ambacho kilikuwa kinaitwa tuning fork now some of you were born the other day wengine mmezaliwa juzi maybe you don't know what it is pengine ujui hiyo ni nini but it's just like a metal thing with two prongs ilikuwa tu ni kitu ambacho ni chuma iko na sehemu mbili so you hit it against something coin kwa hivyo ukigonganisha katika kitu inatoa sauti and it will produce a c sound na ingetoa sound ambayo tunaweza kuita c katika hiki chombo sound kama hiyo ama sauti kama hiyo ha? so what you do you take your guitar kwa hivyo unachukua gita yako and tune tune tighten or loosen tighten or loosen na una tune ukitumia zile vidude zinakuwaga pale kando until they are the same level with that c from the tuning fork mpaka itakapokuwa inatoa sauti kama ile imetoka kwa kile chombo c, c. sauti kama hiyo Now, Sasa, the, the opposite is true also. Inaweza kuwa pia se, uh, aina ingine. If there are tuning forks that are tuned to C in the congregation. Kama kuna vidude ambavyo vimewekwa ziweze kutoa sauti. And I take a tuning fork. Na nichukue kidude changu. And hit it in knowing. Na nigonge. It will start singing. Itatoa sauti kama hiyo. All those forks that are tuned to C zile ambazo zote zimetuniwa katika si 
zote they will start zitaanza kutoa sauti kama hiyo ya si you are looking at me with that kenya look unaniangalia <laughs> the third thing is also true jambo la tatu pia ni ukweli if your guitar is tuned to see there's a string there kama gita yako imewekwa tune ya C and there is an external C sound in this room na kuna ile sauti ya C inasikika katika chumba hiki that C in the air hiyo C ambayo iko angani will cause the C in your guitar itafanya ile C katika gita uh, yako iweze kuimba hivyo hivyo haleluya haleluya There is a prophetic sea in Zimmerman Church today. Kuna sea ya kinabii Zimmerman leo. Ah. And every frequency every one of you who is tuned to see. Na kila mmoja wenu ambaye ameweka chombo chake kiko tuned in the sea. As soon as you hear that sea in the air. Utakaposikia ile sauti ya sea angani. There going to be sea. Nyote mtaimba hiyo sauti. Is everywhere. What is that see? Yo see ni nini? Is that your time has come? Ni kwamba wakati wako umefika. What is that see? Yo see ni nini? The hour for your business is now. Saa ya biashara ni sasa. What is that see? Yo see ni nini? Your ministry is now. Wakati wa huduma ni sasa. What is that see? Yo see ni nini? Whatever God has spoken over your life. Chochote Mungu amenena kuhusu maisha yako. I have come here with my men here. Nimekuja pamoja na wanaume. In the name of the Lord Jesus. To come and sound the sea in the air and every word over your life that has been spoken from this altar may it find fulfillment during this period in the name of Jesus I said in the name of Jesus one more time in the name of Jesus hmm Now you are looking like you are following me. Amen. Amen. Let me use bishop's English. Wacha nitumie Kiingereza ya sifa yetu. Tell me I am catching. Ninashika. Ambia <laughs> jirani yako ninashika. I am catching. Ninashika. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. Utukufu kwa Yesu. Now all of this I have said. Kila kitu ambacho nimenena. Dearly beloved, this oh. pattern shows itself in the Bible. Wapendwa inaonyeshana katika Biblia. And I'm going to take one or two whatever the time shall allow me. Na nitachukua fumbo kama moja ama mbili kulingana na wakati ambao utafikia. And show you that a prophetic utterance is given. Na niwaambie kwamba neno la kinabii likinenwa. The time pass is time span passes. Na muda unapita. Somebody else with that same frequency comes. Mtu mwingine ambaye akona ile frequency anakuja. In the place where it was spoken. Na atazungumza mahali pale ambapo ilinenwa. That the first prophecy or frequency or anointing or grace. Na ile neno ya unabii ya kwanza corresponds with the frequency anointing and grace of the second person. Na italingana na ile neno ambalo litanenenwa wakati huu. The two of them come in line. Zote zitakuwa zikiambatana. Heaven above opens. Mbingu zitafunguka. And then God speaks. Na Mungu atanena. And that is your portion for tonight in Jesus name. Na hiyo ni sehemu yako usiku wa leo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. Utukufu kwa Yesu. Now, time will not allow me. Sasa muda hautaniruhusu. Just trust me that what I'm reading is from the Bible. Niamini tu kwamba ile ninasoma imetoka kwa Biblia. In Genesis chapter 12. Katika kitabu cha mwanzo mlango wa 12, God speaks to Abraham. Mungu ananena na Ibrahimu. And he tells him I am going to bless the whole earth through you. Na anasema nitabariki ulimwengu wote kupitia wewe. Your seed Uh, uh, mbegu yako through that seed everyone on this earth shall be blessed kupitia mbegu yako kila mtu ulimwenguni atabarikiwa so abraham sets up an altar kwa hivyo ibrahimu anatengeneza madhabahu in our example kwa mfano wetu that is the base radio station 
hiyo madhabahu ndio kama ile radio station mahali ambapo signals zinatolewa is the initial prophetic word hiyo ndio neno la unabii ile ulipokea mara ya kwanza and he puts it upon an altar na anaiweka kwenye madhabahu and the bible says he calls upon the name of his lord of his, the lord up there biblia inasema kwamba akaliitia jina ya mungu wake mahali pale and so he leaves the altar na akainua madhabahu pale and continues his way na anaendelea na safari yake now two generations later akizazi vizazi viwili baadaye his grandson jacob mjukuu wake yakobo is running away from his brother and his father in law anatoroka kutoka kwa ndugu yake na kutoka kwa baba mkwe time will not allow again muda hautaniruhusu but it looks like as he is running away lakini inaonekana kwamba wakati anapotoroka he comes near that place anakuja karibu na mahali pale where his grandfather put putted let me use that in english putted the altar mahali babu yake alikuwa ameinua madhabahu Now many other people had passed there I want to believe watu wengi walikuwa wamepitia pale ninaamini what's a common name in swahili give me any name of any person a common name Mr Kamau passed by that place. Bwana Kamau alipitia pale. Nothing happened. Hakuna kilichofanyika. Another one? Otieno. Hmm? Otieno. Mr Otieno also passes by. Bwana Otieno akapitia pale. Nothing happens by. Hakuna chochote kilifanyika. Other people that place looks as though it is just a dormant altar. Mahali pale panakaa tu ni kama hakuna chochote kinaendelea pale. Until two generations later mpaka wakati vizazi viwili zilipopita Jacob is running Yakobo anatoroka Now we preachers like to dramatize things please Na ujue sisi waubiri tunapenda kuigiza mambo It may not be written this way Pengine haijaandikwa hivi I am just trying to exemplify what is happening Ninajaribu kutoa mfano Something is pulling him Kitu kinamvuta pale Something is calling him Kitu kinamuita pale When you read it in Genesis 28 Ukisoma katika kitabu cha Mwanzo 28 says he came to a certain in place Inasema kwamba alikuja mahali fulani He came to that place Akafika pale It continues saying that place place place, place 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 Mahali pale And to dramatize it Na ili tuweze kuigiza Something seems to be putting him with there Kitu kinaendelea kumvuta zaidi For the sake of this message Kwa sababu ya neno hili I want hili, to say to you Ningependa kukuambia There is a word that was spoken of which he was part of Kuna neno ambalo lilinenwa of which he was part of the fulfillment ambayo yeye alikuwa ataweza kutimiza he tries to run away i'm dramatizing anajaribu kutoroka but it is putting him lakini inamvuta he tries to go this way anajaribu kutoroka it is putting him inamvuta i am talking about you ninazungumza kukuhusu this is a place for something for you to happen kuna hapa ni mahali jambo litatendeka maisha ni mwako watu wamekuwa wakija hapa and as bishop said na askofu alivyosema rain even started raining mvua ilianza kunyesha in order to stop you from coming ili usikuje kanisani but you were determined lakini ulikuwa ume ulikuwa umeamua i am going there kwamba kunyesha kunyesha ninaenda kanisani i want you to know ningependa ujue the spiritual forces working kwamba kuna nguvu za giza spiritual forces working nguvu za giza zinakuvuta to this particular place kuna nguvu za kiungo zinakuvuta ili ukuje mahali what you shall hear tonight uweze kuja usikize come and feel what you're going to feel tonight and by the time it is over you shall be able to say ah utaweza kusema ah hapa ni pale one more time hapa ni pale and so Jacob comes to that place Yakobo akaja pale the bible says he dreamt Biblia inasema akaota ndoto. A ladder from earth to heaven. Akaona kuna ngazi ya kutoka ardhini mpaka mbinguni. Na kulikuwa na malaika wanapanda na kushuka. And the Bible says heaven opens. Na Biblia inasema mbingu zikafunguka. And to put it in my language. Na kuili niweke katika lugha yangu. The prophecy that was spoken over Abraham. Unabii ambao ili neno kuhusu Abraham. Found this fulfillment. Wakati wa kutimika. Found this confirmation. Ikapata wakati wa kutimika. In the grandson called Jacob. Katika mjukuu aitwaye Abraham. 
neno juu ya Abrahamu. The frequency on Jacob. Kukaa na frequency ndani ya Yakobo. Na akaweza kuambatana nayo. And Jacob could say. Na Yakobo akasema. This he ndio hile. Again this he ndio hile. Is that Are you following me tonight? Unanifuata usiku wa leo? Hallelujah. Let me just quickly do one more example then I'll begin to wrap up. Wacha nilete mfano mwingine mmoja kisha nifunge. I love to endelea kesho. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Israel. Israel is going into the promised land. Israeli wanaenda katika nchi ya ahadi. And on the promised land they come to the river Jordan. Na wakiwa pale karibu kuingia wakafika mto Yordani. In order to cross the river Jordan. Ili waweze kuvuka mto Yordani. They carried a box. Walibeba sanduku. Called the ark of the covenant. Sanduku la agano. And they came and stood on a particular place. Na wakaja wakasimama mahali pale. And it is only when they stood at a certain place. Na ni wakati tu waliposimama mahali fulani. With the ark upon their shoulders. Wakiwa wamebeba sanduku la agano. That the Bible says. Na ndio Biblia inasema. The waters parted. Maji ika ikaondoka. And Israel went over on dry ground. Na wana wa Israeli wakapita katika nchi kavu. Now that box that they were carrying. Ilo sanduku ambalo walikuwa wamebeba. Is a picture of the Lord Jesus Christ. Ni mfano wa Yesu Kristo. It is a representation of the Lord Jesus Christ. Ni mfano wa Yesu Kristo. And so na, where they stood there. Na kwa hivyo mahali pale walisimama. Is a picture ni mfano of the place where the Lord Jesus Christ. Ya mahali Yesu is going Christo. to stand shortly. Now, where John was baptizing. Mahali Yohana alikuwa anabatizia. It is called Bethabara. Inaitwa Bethabara. If you go to John chapter 1, ukienda kitabu cha Yohana mlango wa kwanza, John chapter 1, Yohana moja. and verse 28. wa 28. The Bible says, Biblia inasema, These things were done in Bethabara. Mambo haya yalifanywa Bethabara. Beyond Jordan. Yordani, where John was baptizing. Mahali ambapo Yohana alikuwa anabatiza. Bethabara. Hilo neno Bethabara. It means the place of the passage. Inamaanisha mahali pa mapito. So it is believed that that is the place. Kwa hivyo inaaminika kwamba mahali pale where Israel crossed the river Jordan. Ndipo wana wa Israeli walipita mto Yordani. And so now many many years later. Na kwa hivyo miaka mingi baadaye. The real ark of the covenant. Ile uh, sanduku ya ukweli ya the Lord Jesus Christ Yesu Christo comes and stands exactly Anakuja na nasimama mahali pale pale Again this is imagination but good imagination hallelujah Hii ni kufikiria tu Exactly where where the ark stood Akasimama mahali pale pale sanduku la agano lilisimamia The Lord Jesus stood Yesu akasimamia pale And the picture of that time Na mfano wa wakati ule comes in line with the picture of this time Inaanza kuwa kama mfano wa wakati huu Yesu anasimama pale That picture Na ile mfano This picture Na mfano huu Come in line Zinaambatana Heaven opens na bingu zinafunguka God said Na Biblia inasema This is my beloved son Mungu akasema huyu ni mwanangu Well pleased Nimpendaye Things came into line Hallelujah 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 I could go on and on and on Ninaweza kuendelea But I think you understand what I am saying Lakini ningependa uelewe ninachosema This is an hour this is the time Kwamba wakati ni huu saa ni hii was spoken over your life Mahali ambapo jambo Ago, miaka mingi iliyopita and you think that it is over please understand me it is not over Nielewe, this is the time for you wakati wako ni to walk into your prophetic fulfillment uweze kutembea may god almighty bring it into line mungu aweze ku every word spoken over your life kuleta kila neno and what i am saying right now nilicho neno kuhusu maisha yako ile ninasema And may you jump up and say ha This one is that one in the name of Jesus If you are here you were trusting the Lord God Almighty to come and build a house a house that you have dreamed of you thought it was impossible but I have come to tell you this is your season this is the time and as you sit in that house of yours put your arm on the rest there remember this message 
Kumbuka ujumbe huu. This that the, um, is it that it in the name of Jesus. You are trusting God for a car. Unaamini Mungu kwa gari. God gives you that car. Mungu Remember. Kumbuka as you drive that car. Kumbuka this is that receive that grace in Jesus name come and receive that grace in Jesus name receive that grace in Jesus name I could go on and on and on but let me end here and come and tell you the time to favor you has come the time for God to favor you has come Zimmerman arise 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 in Jesus name hallelujah Zambia is waiting for you. South Africa is waiting for you. America is waiting for you. Whoever you are, this is your time in Jesus' name. Let's just stand to our feet, please, right now. And just open your mouth and begin to say something in the name of Jesus. The set time to favor Zion has come. Things are coming in line. 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 Come on, just pray in tongues, pray in tongues, pray in tongues. Sakayamanderebe kaya baba. Kaya baba. 